Each airport has characteristics that can lead pilots to make errors that sometimes result in wrong surface operations, runway incursions, or other surface events. This video will enhance your situational awareness during airport operations by increasing your awareness of these challenges. Let's take a look at issues you might encounter at Waukesha County Airport from the flight deck. Waukesha County is a large general aviation airport located just north of the city of Waukesha, Wisconsin. It is also 15 miles northwest of the larger Milwaukee Mitchell International Airport, or MKE, and the city of Milwaukee. The primary runway, 1028, is intersected by the smaller runway, 1836. The taxiway system provides access to all facilities and services found in all quadrants except for the northwest. The traffic mix consists of a spectrum of general and business aviation. There is also a busy helicopter community, including the occasional military helo. There are several flight schools located on the airport providing basic flight training up through advanced ratings. Waukesha has Class Delta airspace, with a cutout to the northeast to accommodate traffic arriving and departing Capital Drive Airport. Use extra vigilance when arriving to Waukesha from this direction. Another arrival issue has to do with misidentification of runway 18 and taxiway Bravo. Perhaps due to the different color surfaces, pilots have mistakenly lined up on the taxiway rather than the runway. Loading a GPS waypoint aligned with the runway may help avoid this mistake. If you are unsure of how to accomplish this, please refer to your particular GPS navigator's manual. One area of concern deals with the intersection of taxiways Charlie and Charlie 3. The hold short line on taxiway Charlie 3 is further back from the runway than pilots might expect. Remember, you must have the appropriate clearance from ATC to cross either of these lines. Another area of concern is found at the intersection of taxiways Delta and Bravo. Pilots cleared to taxi via Delta and Bravo have missed the turn on Bravo and crossed runway 18. To mitigate this issue, make sure you completely understand your taxi clearance, including route, turns, and hold short instructions before you taxi and continuously scan outside the aircraft for signs, markings, and above-ground signage while moving. While not particularly a problem at Waukesha, direct access to a runway from ramp and parking areas has been identified as a risk factor nationwide. Use extra vigilance when taxiing via taxiways Alpha 2, Echo, Delta, and Charlie 2. Remember, if you are ever in doubt of any control instruction or clearance, the easiest answer is to ask the tower. They are there to help. One last area to be aware of concerns tower visibility into some areas. Due to construction and existing buildings, the tower has limited visibility to the southeast ramp and hangar area, as well as the approach end of runway 10 where taxiway Alpha jogs out. You may be asked for precise location or sequence number when operating in these areas. Being aware of hotspots and other airport configuration issues at Waukesha County along with the air traffic control tower, will help make your flight safer and more efficient. We hope this short video has helped you better prepare for your trip to Waukesha County Airport. It's always better to know before you go.